Welcome, I'm going to be watching uh, the new music video called Sacrifice from the Devil Wears Prada. Uh, I've heard the song already and uh, the exciting thing about this was, uh, at least when I before I listened to the song, the exciting thing was um, the Devil Wears Prada is talking about a new era for them. So what that means, I don't know. But they also said that this song has kind of the sludgiest breakdown. Uh, of any song they've ever written, which I think, because I've heard it already, I think that's true. It's pretty sludgy. Uh, whether that's good or bad, uh, that's up to personal preference, I suppose. But I'm going to watch the video, see what the video's like. I haven't seen the video yet. And uh, and then we'll talk also about the lyrics. Um, obviously, with a uh, with a name like Sacrifice, there's a lot of talk uh, and themes of sacrifice within uh, both the Old Testament and the New Testament. And uh, we'll see if this song relates at all to uh, any of the biblical text or if it's just a general song about sacrifice. Usually though, when you're talking about sacrifice, you can kind of apply it to uh, Christianity and, and the, uh, the Bible. So let's check out this video. All right. Cool shot. I wonder if that was a drone. Must have been that they used for that. Nice. Pretty intense. I, I actually like this song, not gonna lie. It's pretty good. And it's a typical metal video, if you will, of the band playing. What more can you ask for? That's an interesting shot. Okay. Huh. Kind of some artistic uh, shots here for sure. That keyboardist though, his head banging is intense. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. So now they're in some sort of uh, on some sort of stage. Lots of very random shots. Um, this part reminds me of Linkin Park, this drum beat there. <laughs> Which is weird, but... There they are up on the stage. Nobody's watching though, interesting. Wonder if that's supposed to say anything. All right, here comes the sludge.
It's like slow motion head banging. I love that scream right there. That was a nice one. And that appears to be on the TV there the perhaps a logo for or a artwork for the new album. I I mean I don't know if there's a new album coming out, but that's my guess. And that my guess is the new album or the new artwork for the album as well. So good video, pretty interesting. Lots of like uh, artistic shots, if that makes sense. Um, it seems like they're trying to kind of go for the the typical feel of a of a metal uh, music video where they're they're kind of just performing their instruments in a cool venue right uh, but then they clearly they kind of put some cool shots in there and and try and uh, make it or or uh, give a variety of shots I guess is the way to put it anyways we'll move on to the lyrical content of this song Okay, so the lyrical content is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a little bit confusing to me, at least. So uh, if you have thoughts on what this song is about, please share in the comments below. I'm often wrong about uh, what the songs are actually about, but I try my best. So I'll just read out some of it uh, up to... I think the chorus is kind of the main content. So <clears throat> uh, so to, to begin with, it says, I felt it under my skin, watched the walls close in. Your words drawn like a blade contaminate my veins. So it seems to be talking about someone's words who are, or someone's words uh, which are uh, kind of uh, damaging per se, uh, like a blade, right, that cuts in and contaminates. Uh, okay, then the next verse, Unforgiven, you bent the truth so you could play the victim. What's real fades. So, um... Uh, what's kind of interesting about this is uh, specifically the words unforgiven tied to this theme of sacrifice. Uh, those two things are kind of interrelated. At least uh, if you go into depth into the Old Testament and the New Testament of, and of the Christian um, religion, <laughs> of the Christian faith, I'll say, um, these two words are tied together, forgiveness and uh, sacrifice. Here it says, unforgiven, you bent the truth so you could play the victim. So kind of setting things up, uh, at least setting this character up. Uh, and then comes in the chorus. I swear I'm not paranoid. I let it in as if I had a choice. Just bury me in red. I don't want another fight. Push me off the edge and I can be your sacrifice. So it seems to me that Kind of this whole song is about someone who's um, who has some damaging words, right? And this person's done. This other person is done tolerating this or taking this. Um, and he's just like, yeah, I'll be your sacrifice as long as this will be over, right? That's what I got from this song. Uh, it's kind of dark, as with much of uh, the metal genre. To me, it doesn't seem like a religious song, per se, or a song about religion or Christianity or anything like that. It just seems like a kind of personal uh, experience with someone who is uh, not a very uh, pleasant person to deal with, right? That's what it seems like to me. It could be a song actually written about uh, the Pharisees um, who bent the truth as well. They were uh, famous for bending the truth, right, and kind of twisting the laws of God and uh, putting the people of God under their thumb, essentially, right, with their corrupt uh, ideas and and uh, rules and stuff like that. Uh, so in that sense, uh, it could be about that. That's something that uh, comes up quite a bit today, too, especially with things like institutions, right? A lot of people do not like or do not trust institutions these days um, because of corruption. And a lot of people don't trust the church and don't trust pastors, um, which I get. There's a lot of corruption in the church. There's a lot of corruption in the world, though, if you have noticed. And actually, if you go to a good church, they will teach you that uh, corruption is everywhere. No matter where you go, you're going to find corruption. So what's the answer to that? That's a problem that we're de dealing with 
in our culture today? Well, the answer, the church has it, is Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. His sacrifice for your sins. So again, if you go to a, a good church, you will hear the pastor preach uh, the sacrifice of Jesus for your sins every Sunday. Hopefully every Sunday, you'll hear that Jesus died for you uh, to forgive your sins. And because that happened, then you have eternal life promised to you. Uh, you will be risen from the dead, just as Christ was risen from the dead. And uh, hopefully then that takes you beyond the corruption of this world so you'll, you may see the corruption in the church, you may see the corruption in the world, but you know that's coming because we live in a sinful world, right? And you have the hope that there's a life beyond this life of corruption where Jesus will take you uh, to paradise to be with him. So I pray you never uh, experience a relationship like this one in this song, Sacrifice, and I, I pray that you never see it in the church as well. But if I've learned anything from my experience, you will find it wherever you go. Uh, hope in Christ, and he will bring you to eternal life. Okay, uh, that's all I have to say about this song. Take care.